Hi there, this is just a quick video on how to install the uh, dashboard correlator and the trend volume indicator. This is uh, the link that you will have been given for installation. And basically it goes through all of the screenshots that you um, will receive Okay, when you're going through the installation. So what I suggest is go through this document quite carefully just to understand what screens are going to pop up and how to um, install you know the various uh, options that that um, that you'll get okay once you've gone through the um, various uh, options here go to this link over here just click on that and then it might give you a security uh, clearance depending on your you know what you've got installed whether it's Explorer or Firefox or Chrome or whatever there may be a security issue here to activate this just say allow okay and then it'll take you through to uh, this download over here you just click on the uh, dashboard download okay and then you'll see it'll it'll uh, download the um, the file okay once you've downloaded it it'll come out in this format in uh, WinZip format and then you just double click on the um, the exe file here okay and then it starts running it so this is your first screen this is uh, it's, it's actually a two-part uh, installation the first part is the installation of Brocco Trader if you don't have Brocco Trader already installed and then the second part is the actual installation of the files the um, the indicator the dashboard correlator and the trend volume indicator okay so now this is quite important it'll give you the default as to where it's going to install the files and the default is C program files Brocco Trader All right you can change that um, if you wanted to install to a different uh, um, folder and you just click on here if you want to uh, change that installation and then you just choose your path there okay so you click on next it will ask you uh, where you know where it's going to be installing to you then click start now it asks you do you want to run the uh, Brocco Trader setup and as I said before, if you have Brocco Trader, you can skip this. Although I do advise, it's probably best to have a clean installation of Brocco without any other indicators in that. You don't want to clutter this up. It it's, uses up quite a lot of resources because it's got a lot of calculations in. There's over 2,700 lines of uh, code. And um, it's looking at multiple time frames. So there's a, there's a huge amount of calculations that take place and um, we'll run through that at a later stage anyway the if you do want to run it you just click on yes and that will then install it to the default installation area there we go C program files Brocco trader you go next okay now it's asking you does it really exist I'm not going to go through the whole installation um, it's quite a straightforward installation you just go through uh, all the various screens so I'm going to cancel that but if you want to you if you want to install it you just carry on with the installation okay and I'm going to say do you want to abort the setup I'm going to say yes okay now what happens is the second part of the installation now uh, pops up and this is now the actual files that are being installed so it auto installs the various files you don't have to sit there and now work out you know does this guy this DLL go in the libraries and must this file go to um, indicators um, and templates etc et it does it automatically for you so all you do is you you click on yes all right and then the screen will come you say next this is just some more information about where it's being installed this is the agreement please read through it this is to do with piracy or any copying of the um, you know copyright infringement this is where it's going to install the files which um, again I said this is very important um, as 
when the files are uh, installed it's going to go through to this path now if you've got another path or another Brocco installation please change the um, path over here this step's very important otherwise it's going to be installed in the wrong um, area so then you just choose where um, your Brocco trader is set up if you have it to a different path um, i.e. Uh, anything different from C program files Brocco trader right so that's relatively straightforward you just say go through the screens next next and you exit and you're done uh, now all you have to do is find go through to go on to explore all right go to C you look for program files there Brocco Trader which is there and if I look in uh, experts indicators there are my two um, indicators the dashboard correlator and the trend volume and then under libraries the two DLLs dashboard uh, DLL and the speak DLL okay and then the templates are stored here uh, the dashboard correlator template and the trend volume template okay now all you do is you open up any chart normal way file new chart open up a chart open up the forex the underscore fx charts okay because this is all based on the, um, the fx charts and that is your basically your ECN equivalent so it's a more accurate chart so they've got euro um, fx it doesn't matter what time frame you you've got it on just go here to this icon here which is templates and you're looking for the dashboard correlator you just click on that and then it will apply all the settings to um, this chart over here okay and yeah this is what you should see now the thing is it will take maybe about 20 seconds to load all right um, it only loads the first uh, minute on the uh, heat map and then the default over here for this chart over here is the five minute chart with a seven uh, bar look back all right I'll go through all these settings later this is just to get you set up now to get more time frames you just go into the settings there you scroll down and then you just select which chart you want so let's say we want now a let's go for a 15 minute you just go to true and you, and you click OK now please don't try and select all of them at the same time it's more than likely going to um, freeze up because of the calculation issues so just be vigilant of that um, and that's that's basically it that'll get you set up Okay, now if you want the trend volume indicator, just open up again any chart, um, whatever time frame you want. Click here on the templates and go to trend volume. Click on that and there you have it. Okay, click back here. It now gives you the trend volume uh, indicator and obviously all these errors are, you're looking at shorts and these are longs over here. But I will go into all the trade setups and that later. This is just to get you set up and running with the uh, dashboard correlator and the trend volume. All right, um, stay tuned. I'll be posting uh, more videos as we go along. Cheers for now.